everybody welcome back it's super auto pets i thought about tweeting how were the super auto pet servers today and then i thought you know what if the servers are bad i don't have that much influence but i don't want to tweet and illuminate for people that i'm about to be playing the game thus meaning maybe they want to stream snipe me thus meaning maybe the servers get worse so i thought we'll just test it the servers they've been having some issues lately um I'm going to stop you right there, by the way. You're going to be like, NL, you look different. Did you get a haircut? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I got new glasses. Always takes a bit to get used to them. Always. Always takes a bit. Always takes a bit to get used to them. Ah, sorry, sometimes I just like to make it look like my forehead's grown in size by a bit. Okay. Um, let, let's give this a try. Thanks for all the support on Super Auto Pets so far, by the way. People are loving the game. Um, they, and I'm happy to be a part of that, you know? It's, I'm just, I'm just a simple man. I'm gonna freeze this pig for a second. I don't mind two fish. They're two threes, which is nice. And then, we can combine them and make one three four, but even better, if we get one more, we can have three two threes, combine them all, and then get a plus one, plus one on everything else on the squad. But we're going to freeze the pig. I do, I, I think I like an ant. I think an ant is a, an incredibly solid tier one unit. I will be the, I'll be the shy fireman. You see that tweet uh, that was like the fire department? We should call those bozos the water department. I love that tweet, man. It's a great tweet. Two two fours with a B attached. Scary thought, man. I think we lose. I think we win easily. I don't know math. It's like my second video on a Monday. <laughs> I'm still getting it, still piecing it together. Um, so I'll tell you. I think I like two ants. I'm not sold on ladybugs or beetles, quite frankly. Bluebirds, look, I think there's a case that maybe you could be pro bluebird. This is it's a bit of a heavy spend. Right now, like I'll buy this fish, okay? The only question is do we really want to combine our fishes? And I think for the time being the answer is no. We're going to roll for something maybe a little better. I don't mind freezing two ants and then taking one more roll. Okay, I think this is good. We got a full squad. We're going to get a nasty fish somewhere down the line. Inevitably people are going to be like you I you don't respect the the bluebird enough. Look, I'm not saying the bluebird's bad. I'm just saying I've never, I've never had it pop for me. Right now, I'm I'm liking, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I think we draw, but that's okay. We have better stats, so as far as I'm concerned, that's a winning draw. In my world, that's a winning draw. And uh, just got to think about how I would do this. The f I I want. At least one ant, although they are nice to kill with like sleeping pills and then give permanent buffs, but we don't really want to give permanent buffs to, um, to our non-useful, like we're not going to keep a fish long term. So anyway, hear me out. I think this is what you do, okay? I think you combine two ants. I think you buy one more ant. Then you go like this, then you go like this. Then you get that sweet plus one, plus one. And now we have a five, four ant. We could also, if we wanted to, put another ant behind um, in order to get the double buff. And I actually think that's pretty interesting. I think now you have to consider a question. And the question is, are we trying to win long term? Are we trying to win right away? It's hard to imagine this fish not slapping people around. If we want to win right now. Dromedary is interesting too. I, I, to be honest with you, a hedgehog is our final unit. Also kind of interesting. But for the time being, like even though we only have four units. I don't mind a 9-10 fish being kind of our anchor here. They got it. It's a spicy squad from them as well. But we win this one. We do well on that one. We accept that. We do really well here, and we win. Okay, and that's that's the power of uh, of just buffing a, a, a good early game unit, man. 
So at 10, we like to reroll. Now, a spider is pretty good. I think we can do better, though. Um, and a goose, I, I'm, I'm not that concerned about our economy. I think economy is like a little less important in this game. I do, I almost feel like, um, like a bone attack on either our chick or our aunt is not so bad. Although, I'm realizing you're probably going to get swallowed up. But I think you'll maintain the property. Let, let's do it, let's do it. We're really just looking to buy a body right now. And this gives plus one, plus one permanently to the units behind. But these units are not likely to stick around for too long. This is more what we're looking for now, okay? So we want a, uh, a peacock. Uh, and I actually think we want a bat as well. At the expense of a fish, which should give us two gold back. We can then buy a bat... You kind of want the peacock up at the front, just in case there's like a... Uh... Well, you know, now I'm looking at it, and I'm like... <laughs> we don't want to do it yet, but we should freeze the sleeping pill. We can kill this ant, and a plus four plus two is kind of good. Permanently. But we could also kill this ant and make the space, but... Um... Let, let's put you here. I just want to maximize the odds that our ants... Uh, give the peacock a buff, but we must have the chick buff the peacock because that's a guaranteed plus five plus five. So I'm not I'm not necessarily sold on this so far, but I'm not like th this could be maybe like a transitionary period for us. So we uh, that's a nice weakness. We lose the first battle, but then we get a, a two for one, so we're right back in it. Uh, and then that's why we bought the meat so that unit would actually like be semi useful. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna trade and we're gonna draw thanks to the bat weakness. That was a, a close match. A couple of random plays go different there. We lose. A couple of random plays go different. We win easily, right? So, um, I think you need a peacock. I think you need garlic armor on the peacock. That's just like almost non-negotiable. Uh, we could kill. This ant, the problem is we lose the meat buff as well. Um, but the benefit is that we just buy another ant to replace it. I don't know. Like, it's... The buff didn't go to the unit I wanted it to go to, but, but life goes on. I don't think it's too, too bad. Or maybe a little bit too fixated on the ants right now. Okay, so this blowfish is a disaster. Dog being weak is very nice, though. There's two damage to it. The chick is... It's actually great for us, because it means that our peacock's gonna swallow up all the buffs. I don't know, man. I think this is a draw. <laughs> after, after all this, I think this is a draw. It's not a win. Oh, but it's, it's actually... We were one HP away from a win there. Um... But I'll, I'll take the draw. The servers are holding up great, by the way. I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention it, I think. Okay. Um, so let's just consider that we paid for the draw. And then also, we get the benefit out of that, which is pretty minor. <laughs> but it's okay. I love a blowfish, but a peacock is very important. Now a squirrel. Buy and fill shops with food. Blowfish and peacock, they both get a synergy off of hurt, which actually makes them like anti-synergistic. Hold on. It's just a just a package. Just, I, I think they're leaving it with no signature. That's good. That's what we're looking for. Um, I'm gonna freeze. Actually, an apple doesn't interest me. A pear interests me more than anything else. I do think we're aggressively, perhaps even over aggressively, spending on our rolls, but we're doing our best. What unit do we want? It wouldn't be one of these. And we, obviously, like killing this ant at some point is good. I don't think now is the time. I want to freeze a peacock. Um, it's tough, man. Like, none of these units really interest me that much. <laughs> uh, I, I get the value of a sheep, by the way, but... I guess we'll just put it there for now. We don't, we don't have, like, a, a synergy with the sheep in the same way that you would normally consider, but... Like, we, we don't get a, a buff from a horse or a dog or anything right now. Okay, this is a 3-5. We'd love to see weakness here on the on the front unit, the blowfish. Oh my god, dude, the bat is incredible. So the blowfish died before it could do anything. 
We, we actually won for one this cricket, which is fine. Then we have an 8-9, which is scary, don't get me wrong. But, we definitely live, and we definitely... Well, there's gonna be a B, but that doesn't matter, because the B's gonna get crapped on. And would you look at that? We're at three wins. It's three wins, zero losses? That's something. It's a start. Now, I love a deer. I really do. I think a deer with a meat bone attached is, is pretty nasty. Um, so I think we can sell the sheep. Play a deer up front with a bone. We know we're going to want a peacock. Even just the stats are great. Next thing to get kicked off here is going to be the ant. So I think we can freeze this knowing that we're going to probably next time try to kill them. We don't need two of them. And then, okay, that's good. I, even if we lose this round, which is possible, but I feel okay. Even if we lose this round, I, I kind of like where we're at. Uh, Blowfish, we'd love to see weakness at the front, man. Please, 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 please. Oh my god. Dude, okay, I, look, trust me, it is not falling on, on deaf ears. Oh, that octopus is pretty nasty, but... It's not falling on deaf ears that we're basically winning, um by the bat picking exactly the right enemy to get weakened. I respect it. <laughs> That's four wins. <laughs> Little lucky, maybe. Um, so let's get this peacock going. I think we kill the ants. That's perfect. Knowing as well, by the way, we could just buy another ant if we wanted to, but we're freezing it just for a second. We, we, we need another peacock, man. Are you kidding me? Level three peacock? On Rhino, I mean, I, okay, I think you unfreeze. We're not going to have a full squad here, which is really bad. <laughs> I think you freeze the Rhino. You don't need to freeze an ant. Like, I know you're like, why not uh, buy the freeze the ant and freeze the sleeping pill and then spend four next time? Well, because, like, that's four to give a random unit plus two plus one. I would much rather spend three to just give a unit of my choice plus one plus one but we, I, the chick will probably run next turn the rhino maybe the peacock's doing great stuff right now rolling four is a rookie mistake it's totally my bad they've got a level two bat which bodes very badly uh at least it hit my bat which is not that relevant the double garlic armor means we will lose uh for sure this this is a guaranteed loss Right, it was, it was a good team. What can you say? Well done. Um, we don't need another peacock. I do think... Okay, so it, not everyone's going to love this. I just want to make sure I can still get another animal. <laughs> Which is actually a little risky. I, do, I, do, I guess we could put the llama on it. Yeah, it. Whatever. So the can is good to buy. But I definitely want to get the chick... I definitely want to get the chocolate so that the peacock starts to get permanent buffs. And then a T-Rex. If you have three or more gold, give other friends plus two, plus two. And you start as a 9-4, which is pretty great in and of itself. I think I'm going to... Let's freeze this for now. The order is not good. So we're not going to get the T-Rex bonus. But this, it, it might look worse. It's a plus two, plus two, but it's a plus two, plus two permanently instead of plus five, plus five, and then it comes down at the end of battle. So this would be a good one to win. Um, it's, uh, they, they're running a llama build. Very interesting. That's probably as good as it could have gone for us there. We knew that was coming, but we accepted. If our, if our chick dies, we're not sweating it. That is bad, but at least we killed the unit at the back. They killed ours as well. The sauropod exists just to exist. I think we're definitely not going to win. Um, although, we're going to draw, <laughs> which is kind of stunning. I think we've, we've fought Mr. Ed before, right? In, in this very video. Now, a, a cow is really good. Um, I think... So I know that we were kind of rolling the T-Rex. The T-Rex did... They served their purpose, I think. We can sell the T-Rex. Buy canned food. Make all future shop units better. Buy a cow. I, there is something about the rhino, man. 
Like a, a stacked up Rhino up at the front. The problem is you can't really put him up at the front because the deer needs to be at the front. So if they get like it, I, less chance they get sniped by like a blowfish or something. So I, I <clears throat> pardon me. Either way, you're going to roll cow at the front. You're going to get double milk. Okay. I think we're going to roll. We would like to sell our cow and buy something else useful. On turn 10, you know, we're getting a little bit spiced here. We'll, we'll have a 10-10 bison. That's, I mean, it beats a 6-8 cow. And it'll, it'll buff itself plus 2, plus 2 every turn. We can roll once. We can probably, at this point, we can dump the rhino. I think you freeze that. I don't know if you, I, I'm, I'm starting to feel like we're probably past the point. Okay. Um, where, where the cans are that useful, but it is what it is. The pear is really good on the peacock. No bats, no bats, no bats. We see a level two bat with, a with some spicy bone. It hit our peacock, which replaces the garlic armor. Then we got shot for eight. <laughs> okay, not, not horrible. Um, this looks like a loss to me with the weakness on us. Yeah. Um, and so our next replacement, by the way, is going to be... We're, we're at 4-2. I'm not sweating it. This is still... One more loss, I start to sweat it a little. But um, the next replacement will be to get rid of... Well, we really need a better bat. Level 1 bat is not quite doing it. We could use a better deer. But so much of our success hinges on this peacock right now. A 10-12 dragon. Um... I don't think we're worried so much about our economy right now. What does a seal do? Eat shop food, gives a buff. And an 816 is pretty good too. I'm, I'm going hard on the peacock here. The danger is obvious. Like, when you... Uh, if our peacock gets its status effect replaced, it becomes pretty useless. And I see a level 2 bat. Please don't hit the peacock. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is the same freaking build, man! What the heck? Isn't it? Maybe, maybe not. This I don't worry about. This I worry about. Yeah, okay. Well, um, that's just unfortunate that our peacock got hit two times. But this, you live by the bat, you die by the bat, man. It's the way of the world. We need to replace our bat if it's not going to get better. So this is what it's all about right here. This, this is for the big money. I do... Okay, freeze... Freeze. I wouldn't mind putting some garlic armor on our bison. None of these stats impress me enough to dump the chick for it yet. Now, if you have three or more gold, give your other friends plus two, plus two. Now we're talking. I think you can sell this, and then it's basically like a strictly better replacement. You can take some garlic armor. We'll keep the chocolate frozen, because we don't know where it's going to be most well used right now. Dude, an octopus is actually too good. To pass up. <laughs> Hold on. Freeze it for a second. Maybe we'll, we can invest more next turn. And we need to stop. Yeah. Eh, freeze this as well. Yes. Because we get the plus two, plus two on everybody. Okay. So this, this is a must win, obviously. Please tell me now that I'm in the loser queue that it's not so bad. Level one bat. Don't hit my peacock, man. Don't hit my peacock. Okay. I can live with that. The weakness on the 2527 is... Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. That's fine. Don't hit the bat. I needed that bat! Well, we definitely lose this one. You know, it, if, it, if it just didn't hit the bat. Whatever. Okay, we four wins, four losses. That's fair. And the servers are holding up like gangbusters. We had a strong early game, and it kind of it got ruined after that. But let me tell you. I, I think a cricket is fine. It's basically a 2-3. A beaver is fine. And then we roll once. Um... I don't, uh, I mean, I feel like we go Mosquito just for the 2-2. Two, two. And we'll be the, uh, let's be the flexible bamboos. Something I've never been called in my life. 
hopefully do a little better this time. But I'm not upset about a 4-4. Four, four. That's not too bad. Uh, so I think this is a draw. I hope it's a draw. Actually, I think it's a loss, um, which is really bad because this person also has uh, scaling via the bird. <clears throat> so that's that's pretty poor for us. We can roll once because these are not impressive. Two mosquitoes. Um, I, we like an ant. I think we can sell beaver real quick. Totally fine with that. We like an ant back here. Let's freeze this. A 2-3 is not too bad. Then we'll roll one more time just to see. I mean, I guess, honestly, if it's a 2-3 or... <clears throat> a sorry about the, the, the flemminess. Uh, a 2-1 that buffs... We can roll a mosquito for a length of time, so let's let's buff that leftmost mosquito and um, maybe get some scaling so that a draw is kind of a, a positive thing for us instead of a neutral thing. It's the same gamer. This is exactly the same gamer. It's good shooting because we basically we now one for one this. Uh, we're gonna win. Yeah, we're gonna win easily. How did this happen? How, how do we end up going up against the same guy and then? We got crushed last time, we crushed them this time. It doesn't make any sense to me, but I'm, I'm happy. The, the alternative outcome would have been very not good. Um, now, a bat is very important. For one, we can get a nice buff. And I, this is, we're gonna roll a mosquito for a, for a length of time here. Um, we will roll, because we want tier two animals. I mean, we have another ant sleeping pill combo. Now, I know I said that we don't want to do that because it works better later. Um, or it works like we'd rather save our money for other purposes. This is a situation where I'm like, maybe, you know, you sell the cricket by the... Oh, no, because we don't want to kill the ant yet. But we could sell the cricket, buy an ant, fight with the ant, and then kill it for one next time. So let's, let's freeze and freeze. I do... I respect the hedgehog at the back, too. But I don't want the hedgehog to be at the back and get buffed by the bluebird because they're like com competing strategies. Uh, we want a peacock. Full stop. And the peacock now should actually be at the back. So I think you sell your cricket. Peacock at the back so it gets buffed. Ant, we can unfreeze. Sleeping pill, we can unfreeze. I like this squad. I know this is the squad we had last time and it looks like we lost badly with them. But we didn't. We went we went four and four. That's not too bad. <laughs> And okay, we, we have another bat, too. If we could get... Level 2 bat would have changed us completely last time. Big mosquitoes. Big mosquitoes. Oh, thanks for the buff. Nice shot. Weakness uh, is probably the worst enemy it could have hit, but that's okay. Um, this looks okay right now. Unless, unless I'm mistaken, I feel like there's no way we even see the uh, peacock in action. So we're 2-1. Dude, the servers are holding up like gangbusters right now. This is this is beautiful. I, I love an easy buy. And that's an easy buy right now. It's the easiest buy you're ever going to see in your entire life. I, I honestly might freeze the meat. The way I've started to think about the meat is that if you have a unit that exists just for scaling purposes, or they're like a glass cannon, giving them the meat at least allows them to have a chance at a one-for-one. -one. We got a very similar kind of build going here. <laughs> now you, okay, the weakness on the backline unit, that, that was pretty huge. Peacock is cruising, we love it. You're gonna get buffed. That buff is actually fine for us. We still get the, the one for one. And then we, oh, dude, I mean, you got a cricket. Yes, don't get me wrong, but this squad's cruising, man. We're 3-1. With a tier two bat already. I think we should work for the bird. Right now, it, there's kind of like an element of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it for me right now. The squad is is cruising. We do want to get a level three mosquito or replace the mosquito with something better because it is occupying two spaces right now. But it's it's doing a good job, <laughs> especially when when combined with the double weakness from the bat. So we got the all American team here. Um, not not ideal weakness, but all, of course, getting a kill for free is very nice. Um, a 1-1-B, not a big deal. 
We do lose this, though, because there's no way we're pulling through that 11-4 Ladybug. That's okay. 3-2. That's a good team. That's a scary team. So, I think we, I think we do Mosquito up. Might as well. 6-5. I mean, a 7-6 Mosquito, man. That's, that's something. That's something spooky. We would love a good Tier 4 unit. You gotta buy the Peacock. It's not even, it's not even in question. Um, and then, like, is there a unit that we would... Basically, we should buy a unit just for stats. And I don't really see... Um, the, the Skunk is being like a... It is... Look, it's a 3-5... But a 2-2 two, two that summons a 2-2, two, two, so it's like a 4, I guess. You know, they all, they cost the same, they sell for the same. You exist basically just to, just to live for this fight. The Gasping Bell Towers. I, I this team, they got a level 1 bet. Weakening my weak enemy doesn't bother me. Um, this seems actually very nice for me. Although... I, th I think we win. Okay, I was gonna I was gonna say I think we would win. Just the way it looked, it looked kind of nice for me. We need to buff the HP of our peacock as well. The, one of the reasons that they seem great right now is that we haven't had to <laughs> do anything. Uh, let's get the canned food. Uh, admittedly, a skunk looks like an okay buy, right? Like you get a six, a six eight skunk. Let's freeze and then see, because we want to buff the peacock. Now there's all there's something to be said about a blowfish as well. Five seven blowfish when hit. You know what? I think you, I think you sell skunk, and we've got two very similar philosophies going here in in the hurt uh, camp. But now blowfish in this case, um, IMO should be at the front, and the bird one behind. I don't know. So we're four wins, two losses. We're at minimum we're breaking even this video, which is nice for me. Is is this not the same group? I see a lot of birds. I see a very similar strategy with the blowfish. I think we got uh, not amazing luck with the weakness, but that's okay. This blowfish is going to be nasty, man. It is. It's only level one, thankfully, but you know that it's still pretty dangerous. This is. It's. We're going off, man. And then, like, we... I, I think we're dead. Because I think this, this chick is too strong with, the, with the, the meat armor. Or the meat extra damage. Okay, so it's a 4-3 and now we're in must-win territory. You need the bat. You know you're not avoiding the bat. We're probably going to buy a pair. I still think probably a pair on the blowfish, even though the peacock also benefits. Straight up, I this is my vote for saying I have confidence in the team. I thought I, I forgot I had three extra gold. In that case, we should just uh, buy the can. <laughs> I I have confidence in this team that they're not going to let me down. I think we're going to... Oh, it's a pay-to-win background. I, I Thanks for watching, everybody. A, six, two, a lot of melon armor. Okay. A lot of melon armor. Please replace, yes, yes, replace that melon armor. Get that melon armor out of here. This is not amazing. That's okay, though. We draw, which is good because we get scaled. They get scaled, too, but we may never see them again. So at least we, we live to fight another day. The stats, I mean, uh, this is an investment. Don't get me wrong, but we're going to freeze. We're going to roll. Um, what can I say, man? At, at the end of the day, what can I say? I'm kind of a believer, okay? I'm kind of a believer in this. At some point, at some point, we gotta dump that bluebird. <laughs> we can get a level three bat if we live. We can get a level two bird if we live. That was we invested too much in the rolls there. I'll, I'll own that. Well, we don't we don't care about that guy. If we live, we'll get a chance to get him next turn. This is a huge living opportunity. Oh my god, I would because we we could take off. It's a tanky team, but the caterpillar is kind of useless. 
Weakness on the goat appeals to me. Thank you. We oh, you're going to have melon armor. Okay, it is what it is. At least we land this. We kill you on this. And uh and we lose and that was fun. Okay. Well, you know what? Two equal games. You can't be upset. Thanks for watching. We we uh, our early game is is pretty strong. And then after that, I just completely abandoned my desire to care about stats and just try to force the Peacock synergy, which did not get us there today, but maybe tomorrow. I'm never going to complain about a 50% win rate in a skill-based game because uh, I think I, I'm below the median skill level, to be honest with you, in most of these. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for all the support. I'll see you next time. See ya!